but I'll tell you what, you got a 32-year correction officer that'll try. <laughs> I got nothing in my background that I regret as far as my service to this state. And that's what this is about. This is about your service to this state. Whether you work at Shattagay, Monterey, Butler, Mount McGregor, where I spent eight years of my career, you should be proud of what you do. And just because a governor from the first floor says these numbers work and this is what we're going to do, we can't stand for that. Your message has to go to that first floor first, because those have been the people who've been running the agencies. That cannot be tolerated. The experts are right in front of me, the people who do the job day in and day out. Prisons or mental health facilities shouldn't be job opportunities or employment opportunities. I ask them to talk to you, the experts, and walk a day in the trenches with you. I ask Andrew Cuomo to come into the facility and walk the walk with the members of NYSCOBA, PEF, CSEA, and every other union. And bring Bob Mega with you. will cut the state workforce if they have it with their way by 2015 by 8,200 employees. Woo! I call that tearing down New York, not rebuilding New York. <laughs> Our workforce facilities today have 7,000 less inmates than they did five years ago. But by every measure, by docs, which I don't always believe, but every measure by docs, it is a more violent facility. Whether it's on inmate on inmate assaults, inmate on staff assaults, lockdowns, contraband. Why is that, Governor Cuomo? Because you closed 15 facilities and we're doing nothing more than warehousing inmates. that I have worked in the facilities with over the years. As a, as a correction officer, I almost said prison guard, but as a correction officer, I've always been skeptical at points about inmate programs. But as I saw the controlling of inmate population by these pro programs and by these professional correctional people, I realized this is what made our system the best in the state the best in the country. But today, we're tearing it down. Our mission has gone out the door and we're back to warehousing inmates. That has to stop. I point back to one time, and that's in 1997, when we were at 71,600 inmates. Then Governor Mario Cuomo said, after about nine months after he had double bumped 200 inmates in several gymnasiums throughout the state because we didn't have any space. He said he was going to do something that he regretted to do, but he was out of space and out of time. And he knew it would cause violence, and that's double bumping. He was going to double dormitories capacity. Over the years, we've taken some of those double bunks down. Today, we have more than 10,000 inmates in double bunk settings. Why? We have the opportunity, we have the space, we need to make these facilities safer. I'll leave you with one more note. When I was doing a recent interview, a radio interview, with the same person the governor got himself in trouble with, she found it odd that I used mental health in uh, the closing of mental health facilities and services in one of my press releases. And I told her, let me tell you something. I represent 1,500 members who do the toughest job in mental health, the SHDAs and the SSOs, and every day I can trade a correction officer with an SHDA because of the dangerous job that they do, protecting some severely mentally ill people from themselves and others. 
And I'll tell you right now, this isn't about mental health. This isn't about just corrections. This isn't about secretaries. It isn't about workers on the streets. This is about saving New York. We want to live in a New York that we're proud of. Quit ripping it down, Governor, and let's rebuild this and talk to the experts, the people who do the job. Thank you.